I think Roots was probably there at least for a few days. And, um, uh, but, but Riley uh, came in early, really used that time to gain great understanding. Um, really earned the guy's respect because he knew what to do and how to do it. And his battle is just continuing to get stronger and, and, and solidify some technique. But guys will tell you, man, they, they, they trust him. They, uh, they they just love the way he competes. So, again, I think he's going to be a really good player for us. And then JP, JP's working at guard. I think that's where he'll stay. And um, I think he is uh, really natural. Does a lot of things like his brother, you know, and and um, that's, a, that's a real compliment. Like, he's a, he's a physical kid can play with length inside, um, carries his weight really a little bit different than, than Bo did, but, um, but can be an explosive player that can knock guys back. And, you know, his again, those battles are just going to be like continue to mature and, and um, continue to gain confidence in that. I thought, I thought he had a really, really quietly a, uh, an outstanding year. You know, he played his best football in, in the game. And, um, and uh, we reflect and, and how I graded him out. And, and um, he was in a battle in fall camp to be the guy. And I think that did that nothing but help him to, uh, with, 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 with uh, Burton and Samson. And, um, you know, I thought it was a really good thing for him that he had a, that he had a battle through that. And, you know, it's a great credit to him and speaks to, speaks to his development and how hard he worked to get there. Always was a great weight room guy and powerful guy. But really, really worked on his technique and balance, and, and um, I, I'm proud of him. Man, did, did a great job for us. Is it Beach and Russ all moving on? Is that official? I mean, everybody can like you have the yeah. option, but we're you got your time to announce it, and, and I'll, I'll kind of let them work okay. through it. I, I think I know what they'll do, but I'll let them have okay. their moment. Sure. Is, is Logan Brown in yep. position to? Uh, I don't know again what Beach will choose to do, but is Logan in position to challenge for? Oh, absolutely. Does move on. Yeah. There's a starting left tackle spot open. I think there's, I think there's always a chance to challenge. That's what football is about. Sure. That's why you go to camp. That's that's the whole emphasis of the program, right? That you have great competition and you you work in a way that you make yourself better and the guys around you better. At least that's the backbone of this program, as I know it. Um, so he definitely will, and I think he's made a lot of great strides. You know, biggest thing for him was staying on the field. You know, being able to practice consistently and. Probably until this year, that has not been an option for him. So he's got there. And um, once we got out of camp, um, where he missed a, a good chunk of time, um, we got to the season, started to create that rhythm of being able to be out there. And so the coaching doesn't become get on the field. The coaching becomes, okay, man, here's the little things you need to work on. And I, I think he's really doing a good job of it right now. And I, I love what he's done in bull prep so far. So really, really excited about what, what he can do and the impact he can make. Apologies if you've been. I'm sure you've been asked about Barrett, and I'm sure you've been asked about uh, yeah. <laughs> about Joe. But what do what do both Joe Brunner and, and Barrett Nelson bring? For sure. Um, <laughs> what I said about Joe was he's got a uh, he's got a great tenacity, man. He's he's a physical, violent football player, and you love that about him. And, and then um, and he has fun with it. Like it's just a natural thing for him, you know. And it's kind of a kind of cool guy to to play with. And um, and Barrett, you know his. His climb, you know, um, um, you know, he's got a great lineage with, 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 with Jack being here and his pop, but it was really all about Barrett. And we, we kind of told him that from the jump. You know, I, Joe, I saw when he was really young in the school as a starter, as a, uh, as a freshman, you know, I saw him in the, in the off season and got to see basketball practices and see him work. And Barrett, I got to see a lot of him because of his brother. And um, the cool thing about him was you saw this long, tall, lanky guy really compete his ass off in the basketball court, playing defensive end at Stoughton. And, and you're like, damn, this kid's got a chance. I don't know what he's going to be at. And then he just kind of kept developing and worked his butt off in the weight room. And, and um, you started to see those things transition to the field. And you got this 6'6 six, six plus 280 plus pound guy that's got power and I think a great foundation to, uh, to, to be a great player here. And then with, with Joe, which just like, didn't you start the relationship off early with Joe Brunner in terms of? Yeah, like like really freshman year, we kind of knew about him and, and um, was able to get to the school and able to see him play hoops and come out to camp. And so it got to start really, really early. And, and um, you know, from the jump, he was that guy. You know what I mean? Like 
you know, he, he became more vocal as it went along, but I think he was always that way with the guys that he was around. And he, was, he has fun playing the game, man. And his physicality shows. He, he wants to knock the snot out of people, and that's his approach. And it's what you love in an O-line. I say, you know, you've been here now, you know, since Paul came back in 2015. Just from what you've seen in, in, with in-state recruiting battles, do you, do you feel like it's gotten harder? Over the over, since you came back to Wisconsin, in terms of you know competing you know against other schools for like the in-state talent. You know, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know that it has. I think it's been. I think it's been great. I think. I think it's kind of what you want from 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 everyone. If if the if the core of your program resonates with those guys, then they have their best chance to be great in your program, and that's what you want. You want the guys that you bring in to be great and. Uh, and I, I love that about this place, and I love that about the guys that come here. And so I wouldn't change a thing about that. And the fact that you have competition is just reality. Um, you're always going to have that, especially with good players. And and um, you want that competition. Like it, something that you – it's cold. <laughs> it's probably a good guy, you know. You, you, you don't mind that in the least. And then last question, do you foresee, like, with everyone having some time – to after the Minnesota game and then that to now, do you foresee the Lions going to yeah, going to be a healthy starting line for, for the, the, the bowl, or do you feel yeah, like going to be out? I, I, I hope so. You know what I mean. Bruss played a bunch of the year with a, with a foot injury, and, and um, he's probably the one guy right now that we're trying to see where he'll be uh, going into a bowl game. But other than that, it, it's it, the guys are a million times in better shape. You know, the guys have done a good job taking care of them. The time off, I think, was really presented itself in a good moment. And so 